All right. Yeah, let's get on the train. I'm on a train. I'm on a train, mother. They can look at the mo train. I'm on a train. <laughs> Just kidding. What's up, guys? Put Mod 14, and we're back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, let's see what duels are around here in the evening on the other side of the tracks. Let's see. Let's see. Only one person? That can't be right. Oh, okay, yeah, there's someone down here. I see. Uh, right here? There we go. Let's see if we can find anyone with, like, two or three stars. Uh, no. All just one star. All one star. Mm, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's see. Top, bottom, or middle? Uh, let's go with bottom. Bottom of the map. Let's see who this is. It's my Valentine! Interesting. Hi, my. Hi, my Valentine. What do you say to our duel, young, youngster? Ah, uh, yeah, let's do it, Mai. So, this is the first time we've got to do a Mai Lady Sanctuary deck. Alright, let's get the rock, paper, scissors going. Now, um, Mai Valentine. Her deck's, yeah, pretty interesting, as you may think, or, uh, assume, but correctly assume. She does still have, you know, the Harpy Lady combos. And yeah, she has cards like this, Flying Comic Curie number one, to search out her Harpies. Uh, something you want to be careful of, which she didn't play at first turn, kind of surprised, but you want to be careful of uh, Harpy's Hunting Ground. Uh, so be careful with your back row cards, because um, sh with Harpy's Hunting Ground, she will be able to destroy some of your back row if she summons a Harpy Lady. Uh, also, she runs powerful cards like Gemini Elf, so watch out for that. I think first turn, we're going to go all in here. I'm going to play Smashing Ground. I'm going to play Heavy Storm. Let's see, Heavy Storm. Yep. And then I'm going to play White Magical Hat. And then she'll only be left with one card in her hand. Mystical Space Typhoon. Okay. Yeah, as you see, she has some pretty good cards. Some pretty good cards. Not just Harpy Ladies. She has other, you know, good standalone cards. But her main focus is, of course, Harpy Lady, so... Yep. White Magical Hat, Direct Attack. Alright, and now we're even, but you only have one card left, my DD Warrior Lady. That is a very good card. Very good card. Alright, my your turn. Go ahead. Let's see what you can do. Pot Ow, man, I wish we would have got rid of that. Pot of Greed, yeah, that's very good. Alright. DD Assailant. Yep, so it looks like she's uh, running a few of the uh, female DD Warrior uh, monsters as well. But the Assailant, she probably has like two Assailant and um, uh, one Warrior Lady. I think you can only have one. Should I card destruction here? Maybe I should. Yeah, I guess we have to. I hate to do it, Jinzo, but yeah. Oh, there it is. Harpy Hunting Ground. This is the card I was talking about. I'm glad we got to see this. So, when Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters is normal or special summon, destroy one spell or trap on the field. Yeah, increase the attack and defense of all being beasts by 200. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, let's see. Do I have a light in the graveyard? I do have White Magical Hat in the graveyard. Um, I'm going to summon x Head Cannon, and, hmm, well, this is really kind of my only monster. Ah, uh, let me think. You know what? She does have some powerful monsters, so let's just crash. Let's just get DD Assailant out of the way while we can. While we can, for sure. I hate to do it, x Head Cannon, but this might be the right move, honestly. Yeah, I know she's going to banish us, but that might be the right move, honestly. Because, like, if she summons something... I'm, I'm just afraid if I leave x Head Cannon, next turn she'll summon something like Gemini Elf and kill it anyway. Kamakuri? Okay, okay. It's not too much damage. Not too much, so... All right. Well, I could definitely use a pot of greed myself at this point. All right, let's see. Magician of Faith. Hmm. Could take back card destruction if nothing else. Well, let's do it. Let's set Magician of Faith because we've got Sinister Serpent. 
Okay, okay, we're on the defensive here. Mai's doing pretty good. Okay, good, she didn't summon any more monsters. That's good, that's what I like to see. Okay, so with this will take back card destruction. Not something I usually take back, but we do need to draw some monsters here, so take back card destruction. All right. What are you gonna do, my face down? Okay, just one face down monster. That's fine. I draw, ooh, Night Assailant, hmm. Ooh, this is a good combo, actually. Because with Night Assailant discarded, I can always get back Magician of Faith. All right, let's do it. I activate card destruction again, Mai. Let's both discard our hands. All right. And yeah, with Night Assailant, I will retrieve Magician of Faith from the graveyard. Good, good. All right, what else did we draw? Spirit Reaper, perfect, perfect. And what does she discard? Triangle? Oh yeah, some Harpy Lady cards and Cyber Shield, yep. Good stuff, good stuff. Lightning Vortex is good as well. Uh, I think we'll set Spirit Reaper to defend our life points. And that'll do. Next turn, I'll set Magician of Faith again. And I guess we'll take back Card Destruction again. Uh, now this, DD Assailant has to destroy by battle, right? It can't just attack my Spirit Reaper and vanish? I think we're okay here, I think we're okay. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, she ends her turn, one face down, okay. All right, my move, my Feather of the Phoenix, okay. Sinister Serpent, return to my hand. And I guess, yeah, Magician of Faith might be the right call here. Hmm, should I Lightning Vortex right now? Now, let's see if she plays some more monsters. Let's see if she plays some more. Let's see if she plays some more monsters. Harpy Lady, oh no, don't attack me, but Harpy Lady 2. Oh, I think this one negates flip effects, right? Oh, she met at us. It's gonna negate the effect, right? Uh, well, it's letting me. Well, I guess let's try to take Heavy Storm. Oh, it does negate it. Oh, oh, we got countered so hard there. Wow, good job, Maya, good job. Man. Okay, but now she's got, ooh. Okay. I was gonna say, ah, let's, let's, let's play Lightning Vortex. You know what? I'm gonna set a card face down, my. I'm gonna set a card face down. And we got Feather of the Phoenix. Maybe I should take back Jinzo. That would be a good idea. Hmm. All right, I activate Feather of the Phoenix. Now I'll discard Sinister Serpent. And I'll add a card from my graveyard to the top of my deck. And I choose Jinzo, my. I get my turn. Alright, alright. Another face down. Oh, she didn't attack? Alright, oh, because Spirit Reaper, uh... Right, she knows she can't destroy it in battle. Right, I didn't think about that. Well, I guess I'll set Sinister Serpent. Ah, Shadow of Eyes. Another signature my card. Yeah, that's, that's a good call. Um... As risky as it is... Let's see what she's had face down this whole time. Oh, just a Magician of Fate. Okay. I'm glad I attacked, because we won't take too much damage here. Good. And now all of her monsters are face up. So, right, she's going to take that pot of greed. Okay, okay, but we got Mirror Force, so we should be okay here. Should be okay. We got Spirit Reaper. Even if she somehow negates Mirror Force, we got Spirit Reaper. She doesn't have Hunting Ground, so we're okay. Alright, attack me, Mai. Attack me. Yes, switch everything to attack mode. Do it. <laughs> Perfect, Mai. Now, go! Sacred Civil Barrier, Mirror Force. All your powerful monsters are now destroyed, my dear. Ha <laughs> ha Sweet. Alright, now we're back in control of this little baby. Now I sacrifice Sinister Serpent to, to re-summon the card I added back to the top of my dick, Gojinzo. And I will switch uh, Spirit Reaper to attack mode. Let's get that last card out of her hand. It's been a good duel. It's been a very good duel. Yeah, as you can see, Mai has some pretty good cards. She really does. All right. Spirit Reaper, discard her last card. Pot of Green. Right, she did add that. Why didn't she activate that? Weird. 
Well, I forgot she didn't even activate Pot of Greed, but that was definitely the right decision to attack the Spirit Reaper. Alright, I end my turn, Mai. Now, we're winning this duel. What do you got? 17 turns, man. What a duel, what a duel. Alright, Sinister Serpent, return to my hand now. Good, good. And I think we can get exactly zero. She can't play any traps. So, yeah. If we attack with Dunamis Valkyrie, go! This should give us exactly zero, I think. Yeah, 24! Perfect! Go, Jinzo! Cyber Energy Shock! Alright! Ooh! Man, and we had some bad draws to start that duel, but hey! We believed in our deck, hung in there, we were able to pull out the win. Alright, let's see the points. Hand Destruction, 16, 131, nice. And so you get 94 uh, experience for Dueling Mai. That's pretty good. Yeah, she's good to duel as well. Her and Rebecca give a lot of experience, so. Impossible! I, I, I lost? This can't be. All right. Let's see who else we can find. We're at about 12 minutes. Uh, let's see, who's this? Oh, that's an NPC, because there's no stars. Let's see. Who's this? Uh, surprised they only put Maya at one star, by the way. Another one star? Yeah, because in my book, Maya should probably be, like, I don't know, like, probably about three stars in my book. Maybe put, like, Rex Raptor and stuff at one star. Alright, so we got, oh, there's one more person here. Four unknown duelists. Okay, and an NPC. Let's just go to the one closest to us, I guess. Well, no, no, no. Let's go to this one. I'm filling this one. Who is this? Oh, is that who we're looking for? I think it is. It's Ishizu. Are you a duelist? Uh, yes, I am. Who are you? I want to test your heart as a duelist. Will you duel me? Uh, sure. No problem, Ishizu. All from below. All right. Some pretty unique music there, by the way. So yeah, this is what you need to do to advance the story. Didn't mean to do that, but hey, here we are. Let's do it, Ishizu. Now, Ishizu's deck is pretty interesting. Um, you may see what I'm talking about here shortly. I'm actually gonna set Cyber Jar to start. I'm gonna mm, end my turn there. Let's see if she gets her strategy going. So she uses, yeah, some Earth Fairies in her deck, like Zolga, Agido, and uh, uh, Keldo. Keldo. You know, some of the same monsters she used from the anime. Uh, but she does have a second strategy to her deck. Let's see if she uses it. Hopefully she won't, actually, because I'm kind of scared. Upstart, Shallow Grave, Reload, Blast Hell with Tribute, that's another part of our strategy. Okay, so she didn't get any monsters there, which is good. Hopefully we get some. Alright, Dunamis Valkyrie. Call of the Haunted. And... Now Ishizu, take this! I of a Force Raider, the Man Beast, in attack mode. Uh, yeah, so she does have a second part of her strategy. Um, yeah, as you see, like, you saw her pull, uh, like, Jar Greed there as well. Now check this out. Legacy of Yada Garasu. Draw one card from your deck. So, she does have cards... Basically, I'm gonna tell you guys in advance. She does have cards like this to basically draw continuously. Uh, her strategy is actually to fill her guard her graveyard with 15 cards then she can use exchange of the spirit now something you should know uh we're gonna play a giant drum here something you should know is exchange of the spirit is actually pre errata what that means uh let's go all in here let's play united we stand on horse raider what that means is um yeah um that we don't need 15 cards in our graveyard for her to activate it. All she needs is... I'm surprised this attack went through with three face downs. But all she needs is 15 cards in her graveyard, and then you exchange 
the decks with the graveyards. Now that's pretty dangerous because she also runs, from what I remember, she runs a couple copies of Soul Release to take the cards out of your graveyard before she uses Exchange of the Spirit. So uh, if she gets really lucky with her draws, her deck can be pretty deadly and basically make you instantly lose. It's quite a combo. Uh, main phase two, I guess I will set uh, called the Haunted here. So yeah, in her turn. Go ahead, Ishizu. So she'll probably play, yeah, yeah, she's gonna play some of her draw cards now. Which is dangerous, because she does have cards like Lightning Vortex too. Ah, and this is another part of her strategy, reasoning. Okay, so hopefully she won't send, what does that say? S-T-F, S-T-U-F-E, Stufe? What does that mean? I, is, is that? Do you guys know what that word means? Uh, if you do, let me know in the comments. That's pretty weird. Oh, okay. This is another part of her strategy. So with Cathedral of Nobles, she can activate traps to turn their set. So now you can kind of see what she's doing here. Oh, Shallow Grave's not good because it's going to set Cyber Jar. I don't want Cyber Jar to activate at this point. Hopefully she doesn't have a way to force me to flip it. Okay, so she has Zolga face down. Reload. Man, she's just, she's going ham right now. Foolish Burial to send another card to the graveyard. Okay. Pot Agreed. Uh-oh, she might get her combo, guys. We have nothing in the graveyard. And a couple more face downs. Okay. Let's see. All right, so I'll have to make spell absorption here. Uh, but yeah, let me go over Cathedral of Nobles. Uh, actually, this is called uh, Temple of the Kings in the real TCG. So check this out. The controller of this card can activate traps the turn they are set. And of course, if you send this in Mystical Beast Circuit uh, while they are on their field, you can select one monster card from your hand deck or fusion deck and special summon it. So this is pre errata as well. It's been errata, uh, Temple of the Kings, to where you can only activate one trap the turn you set it. So pretty dangerous, yeah. Um, let's... Hmm. Well, she's only down to 900. Let's... Let's try to win here. Let's play swords. That way we know what she's working with. Let's play swords. So I don't know what her other face down is. Ajido, okay. So if she gets lucky, Ajido could uh, revive a monster and protect her. So believe it or not, it seems like kind of a waste, but I am gonna smashing ground here. Just so she doesn't get the revival. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to close it out this turn. Because I don't want her activating Exchange of the Spirit. How many cards does she have in her graveyard? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I don't want her activating Exchange of the Spirit at this point. Um, mm, let's just attack and see what happens. So, Giant Germ, Attack Master Darkness. Okay, good. No Mirror Force or anything. That's good. Kind of surprised, honestly. Okay. Valkyrie will destroy Zolga. This is good. This is looking good. We might be okay, guys. We might have this. Alright. Now, is this gonna work? Force Raider, attack her life points now! I win! She's... Nice! Alright. Six points in this for uh, defeating Ishizu. That's quite a lot. Right. There we go. Nice. So what's going to happen now? I sense you have great potential, some hidden power. My Millennium Necklace, allow me to explain everything. However, it is still in its infant stages, your power is. I hope it matures by the time we meet again. I can see the future, Kaiba, and I predict that you will lose. Alright, so you may wonder, well, what happens now? Well, I kind of, um, misinformed you guys. 
So now that you've beaten the Shizu, you actually need to beat her, I think, three more times to advance the story. So, but you do want to find her uh, if you're wanting to advance the story. So, yeah. With that, we will go home, and I will save here, guys. Alright. Yeah. Data saved. And now, uh, something I should let you guys know. Uh, hmm. No, you know what? I was thinking, like... Maybe, I was thinking maybe next episode I would do a, a, a kind of like a grind montage with no commentary, you know, with the HD recording device. But no, no, I think, I think we'll do, because I do want to register quite a few people, like I said uh, last episode. Uh, but I think what we'll do is uh, we'll do one more full day of, uh, you know, just duels, duels all around. We'll do one more full day of duels, so we'll finish up tonight. Right, all the duels we can tonight. And then we'll do another full day. And then after that, I may take a break from the story and like do a bunch of duels with the HD with no commentary uh, with my HD recording device. And that way we just register as many people as we can. Um, so yeah, uh, anyway, thank you guys for all for joining me. Um, but of course, I, I'll definitely save the commentary for any main episodes, you know, any any main, you know, storyline episode that happened. Uh, or, I guess if I'm doing the grind session and something interesting happens, I guess I could always just, you know, kind of save the state and, um, you know, you know, cut, cut in with my phone. Just be like, oh, hey guys, you know, check this out. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, I think that's a good plan for now. Um, yeah, we're going to end this episode here. I want to thank you all for joining me once again. And, uh, yeah, hope you're liking this Let's Play. And if you are, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Have a good day.